this is Dr. Danny Steffen, chiropractor at the Center for Manual Medicine and Regenerative Orthopedics here in Topeka, Kansas. With the current circumstances and everyone getting to stay home and instead of doing some Netflix and chill, we're here to show you some good mechanics on things because a lot of us are going to be really encouraged to do home activities, home improvement, but let's do it without, without getting hurt. One example of something to start is just the proper way of going from sitting to standing and I have Seth here, our office manager. Hi, <laughs> I'm going to be the demonstrator today. Now, one of the things he's going to be doing is just going into, go ahead and act like you're sitting for us, Seth. Great. Now, most people when we go from sitting to standing, if we've been watching a nice little binge of some show on TV or Netflix, Hulu, we go and fold our chest over our lap, kind of creep on up, and sometimes that really strains your back. And it started because everybody's sitting, watching in this terrible position with poor posture, and then we go to lean forward and start to stand up. A lot of those mechanics are getting the wrong muscles to work at the wrong time. So a few examples of how to get up better are going to be what Seth is going to show us here. One cheat I like to tell people, even if you're in a comfy couch or recliner, is to scoot your bottom towards the edge of the chair a little bit. Now, act like we're almost coming in a squat position. So your legs are a little wide, your toes are tucked under you a little bit, and you're really going to engage those quads, the muscles in the front. Try to go straight up. Great. Now, envision something as silly as, you know, you're trying to keep social distancing, so if anyone was in front of you, you couldn't kiss them because you weren't bending over. <laughs> <laughs> That's one example of a better way to go over. Now, what do we do if our knees bother us? Another option, if, if somebody does have bad knees, is always looking for chairs that may have arms on them because the arms can be a, a wonderful assistance to help you get up. So in that position, you would set your body up with the same mechanics, feet a little bit wider, heels pulled back underneath you, and then you can use the arms of the chair to help you. One thing that I've always liked to think about is me pushing my hips forward. They call this a hip hinge. So as I push off, I can drive my hips forward, which activates the glutes, and that's one of the most powerful muscles in the body to help you stand up. And a third option that we can often use is a stagger stance. You may determine which leg you want to stagger with based on if you do have one knee that may be better than the other, one hip, one ankle, anything in that chain of mechanics. So with the stagger, you can put your more powerful leg back, feel some pressure on your heel. If you need to and you don't have arms, you can use your legs and drive off that back leg to help you stand up. Again, you're thinking about activating your glutes as you stand up and not making your low back do all the work. Here's a way to start building confidence and proper activation of those quads and glutes without feeling like you're getting out of the chair funny. Typical squats, a lot of us will bring our hips flat and over, stick our bottom all the way out, and as you can see, a chest will just roll forward. You may not feel like you're falling forward, but the mechanics of that, the angles, everything's all wrong. One easy way to start learning how to do it appropriately is to find a, something at home, whether it's if you have small weights, a foam roll, a two by four, anything creative that feels secure. I want you to place them underneath your heels. That way you're almost up like you're wearing high heels and you are not able to do that same form because you're gonna feel like you're going forward. An example is Seth. He will be able to draw his heels down to the floor, sink his bottom all the way like he is sitting in a chair, feeling comfortable that he is not going to go forward or back, engaging the muscles properly. If you are feeling insecure, like you're gonna fall, please do this by a wall, a table, a chair, anything that you can have as balance. Do a few of these in a row to build confidence and strength. If you guys have any questions, please give us a call at the Center for Manual Medicine at 785-271-8100.